Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Crusader Kings uh, 3. So, uh, I was uh, thinking, since uh, I last recorded, that it's uh, kinda curious, kinda curious indeed, that the Pope uh, never called for a crusade this whole game. We have not seen a single crusade up until now. And I think that's really rather strange. It probably has to do with the fact that uh, Francia has been pretty successful at the Reconquista. And uh, I don't know, in general The Muslims aren't doing that well. Byzantine Empire is extremely strong. But still, still, it seems weird considering that Catholic is only present in Central and Western Europe. It seems strange that the Pope would not call for a crusade, exceptionally, uh, yeah, especially a crusade for Jerusalem. Uh, I mean, yeah. The thing is, um, we could, we could try to create our own religion. We have to be very careful about it. Because you can pretty easily break your game, basically, because this is an Iron Man game, so no loading, no undoing bad decisions. Um, but we we could we could in theory we could create a new religion. What we need in order to be able to create a new religion is a character with a lot of piety. A lot. So right now here, if you want to create a new uh, religion, it says, okay, yeah, you can do that, but uh, you need uh, 2,567 So, no, <clears throat> can't do that. Not with this character. We need a learning character. A learning character like uh, this one. But he would have to get to the throne very quickly, so that we can play him, so that he can accumulate that huge amount of piety. So, basically, what we have to do is we have to get this character off from the throne. Uh, off from the throne. We have to dethrone him. Yes, that's the word. And... Um, there are some ways to do it, actually, quite safely so. The thing is that um, if there is a revolt and uh, he loses the revolt, he gets deposed. That's the game term. Deposed means that uh, the, the next the heir takes over. So. I clicked it. Well, anyway, we have to try to get this emperor deposed. <coughs> and um, we can actually, we can actually uh, combine that with doing something productive. Because uh, we need to kind of sort out our realm a little more. Because uh, as you might know, um, we have this king of Ireland, we also have a king of Scotland. Um, as our empire grows, we will concern ourselves less and less with dukes uh, and more and more uh, the kings uh, beneath our own crown will become important. So, um, sorting out their land is pretty important. And the uh, problem right here is King of Ireland is not happy because uh, 
he decides the earldom of Ulster and the earldom of Oriel. So basically, it's about these uh, three counties. And it's important that we sort that out, basically. So what we have to do is we have to retract Uh, we have re to retract this vessel and we have to revoke Dublin which that dude will not like at all but we will <clears throat> sorry we will do it anyway so we will revoke his oh this is uh, an act of tyranny Causing the subjects to lose 20 opinion. Wow, this is this could escalate really quickly. It's kind of kind of a dire situation actually. But uh, we will do it anyway. Okay, we can yeah. What declared? Okay, there it goes. So uh, this is a war against the tyranny of Emperor Ansetel. And the interesting thing here is if we surrender... Oh my god, they got 28,000! If we surrender, we are deposed. Uh, their heir will inherit the titles. And I think um, we get the law autonomous vessels. Yeah, which is not not very good but um, anyway uh, we we are deposed and I think we will do that because 28,000 is insane just just let me take a look okay so basically Scotland is revolting. Nearly all of my other vessels are revolting. Yeah. No, we will uh, not raise armies actually. We will just uh, surrender. Okay. Continue as Emperor Eon Menret II. Alright. So, we'll go for a learning lifestyle, and it's most important that we gain as much piety as possible. I mean, it's also important to have a high learning stat, but piety is even more important right now for what we want to do. And I think... Let's, let, let me take a look here. Theologian would be pretty nice. Yeah, indeed, that would be really nice. Also, this one is pretty good. Scholarly circles, learning per level of devotion. Okay, anyway, um, let's do it like this. Also, um, it's important that he likes us and that we have a council. Minus seventy eight. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. We we will we will assign our mother as spy master. Sure. Okay. Next, um, let's see decisions. Decisions. So um, we'll go on a pilgrimage right away. Uh, it's an exceptionally long pilgrimage. But yeah, of course, uh, mm, Vaticano is also nice, or Colonia. 
exceptionally long side we will visit Jerusalem. It's time to depart. Dangerous factions. Okay, we will sway him. But he only has a thousand troops. Um, it's important that the that the strong, that the big players. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, still, we will sway this guy. They are bandits at the pilgrimage. Oh my god. I wake to the noise of chaos in camp, but it only make, takes me a few moments to realize what is happening. We are under attack. Bandits are swarming our tents and wagons while our guards do what they can to resist. Okay, we could uh, do a prowess challenge, but our prowess is pretty bad. We could try to hide. We could just pay them. We are rich. We can pay them. I don't want him to get wounded right away on his journey. Oh, and he's sick anyway. This is no time to give up. Yeah, we would need to spend faith and we want uh, uh, piety, and we won't do that. We need all of the piety we can get. The arrival! I'm finally here, body and soul, at the great church of Jerusalem. As the bishop offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had to happen for God to bring me here at this moment in time. I've walked the holy path. Okay. Pilgrimage, the return. <laughs> He's now wearing this uh, linen shirt. I like it a lot. My journey has been a long one, but I have finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the priests and bishops treat me. I have undergone the journey of a holy man, and they insist it has changed something about me. Whether I can see it myself or not. But we have to get better now. So uh, let's search for a court physician. Mm. Now let's go with him. Time for a treatment. A little brighter. Very well. They, gi they are giving me some piety, which is great. Also they are yeah, they like me now, I think. Okay, we need a new steward. We could assign him. And we're no longer ill. Very good. Very good. Betrothed can and will marry, obviously. Empress Gabriela. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during time of jubilation. Wow. 
500 is a lot though. No. He's not a greedy man. He's a pious man. He's compassionate, temperate and trusting. And apparently uh, his glory is widely known. Okay. Oh, for an upgrade we need hoardings. Okay. So well, what is... Ah yes, we are currently fascinated with herds. Yeah, I remember that. Let's see, can we can we get some more upgrades going on? Yeah, yes, yes we can. I'll try to increase our economy right now. I mean, we could also increase our military infrastructure, but um, we need more money. Always need more money. And uh, my wife is pregnant. Great. So, are there any factions? Wants the em my sister wants the Empire of Britannia. Okay. You know what? You should really marry someone. Okay, okay. Greetings, my handsome leech. I would like to petition you in your wisdom to consider my claim for the county of Casentino. It is not right that you, Geraldo, should sit safely as a usurper in his castle mocking my dynasty's birthright. He's of my house. But I mean, I have under pressing matters. Okay, um, let's see. Evlet Arnsitel daughter, yes. Let's see who you might marry. King of Brittany? But he already has a wife. He's, he has already two secondary spouses, too. No. No, 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 no. We don't want. Dead. She's beautiful, intelligent, and robust. What a character. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they are not related. That's great. Okay. And we can choose a new perk. Piety plus 20%. That's great. Huh? an alliance to the benign Emperor Aeon Manred of Britannia, despite our lack of bonds by blood, I believe we both stand to gain from an alliance. I propose that we join our forces and fight our foes together. It's the King of Lotharingia. He will drag us into conflict with Frank. Uh, we don't want that at the moment. We want to focus our gaze inwards. We need we still need to sort out Ireland. 
an unexpected visit with my mindset on a relaxing evening. I'm heading for my wife Gabriela's chambers with some spiced wines and a Pachisi board. Without knocking, I push the door open. Hmm. I think uh, we will respect her privacy. A reading in Winchester. Okay. A gesture of appreciation. A mischievous smile is playing on Empress Gabriela's lips. I know I have acted strangely as of late and for that I apologize. By, but I had a good reason. Gabriela hands me a neatly wrapped gift decorated with colorful ribbons. I wanted to surprise you. I had it custom made. There is only one like it. Go ahead. Open it. Oh, thank you, Gabriela. And we have a new heir. He's cute. I think I think we will uh, we will romance her. Yes. Sadistic dislikes compassionate minus ninety. Wow. Okay. Seduce, no. sway her. Yeah, we. Oh, okay, we will sway her. She's sadistic. Wow. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, I'll make a brief interruption and be right back.